Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Energy Academy Australia. Australia is a vast country with multiple power grids spanning thousands of kilometres, as well as some independent microgrids in more remote regions. But for this series, we'll be focusing on the country's largest electricity market, the National Electricity Market, or NEM. There are two major electricity markets in Australia. The largest one is the NEM, which covers the eastern states and services the majority of the country's population. The other is the Wholesale Electricity Market, or WEM, which connects parts of Western Australia and most of the state's population. Other electricity grids also exist in Australia. The Northern Territory has the Darwin, Catherine and Alice Springs grids, along with many isolated microgrids. These microgrids supply remote communities with electricity from diesel, gas, and increasingly from solar and battery energy storage. Australia has so many separate electricity systems because of its expansive geography. Its cities and communities are separated by vast and sparsely populated distances, making it impractical to connect all of them into a single national grid. A history of separate electricity systems also plays a role, with every state operating their own systems until the first interstate market, the NEM, went into operation in 1998. As we move through this series, we'll talk about the energy and ancillary services markets, the players involved in those markets, how dispatch actually works, and what the future of the NEM might look like. In our next episode, we'll take a more detailed look at the national electricity market, the backbone of Australia's energy system. We'll talk about the structure of the NEM and how the different regions within it generate electricity, and the trends that we're seeing as it continues the transition to renewables. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.